Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Tripod Philharmonic Orchestra. Conducted by Sir Gatesy. Playing the overture to Tosswinkle the Pirate in A flat minor by Tripod. Much. It's uh, marvellous to see you and thanks for coming along and welcome to Tosswinkle the Pirate. Ex actually, the, the, the title of the show is The Adventures of Tosswinkle the Pirate, yeah? Well, actually, that's wrong too, Gatesy. The show's actually called Tripod Tell the Tale of the Adventures of Tosswinkle the Pirate. Not very well. <laughs> that's right, it is. <laughs> silly time. me, you know, crazy silly me because I thought it was called Tripod Tell the Tale of the Adventures of a Couple of Pedantic Whack Jobs. <laughs> who are in a little bit of danger from a bit of backlash from the visually impaired community. <laughs> That's a real catchy title. We should have used that. I like that. We can't use that. We can't use that title because we've already done the ad on the telly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. probably seen it. It's on quite our ad. ad. No, just, um, late night. Have you seen it? Just put your hand up if you saw the ad. It's probably in between um, the guy with the abdua sort of and the action girl action with the hose. You know that. Oh, actually, oh, quite, oh, quite we didn't actually. It's, it's, top. Didn't actually it's interesting because I actually think the ad's better than the show. But that's just between you and me. haven't seen it because it's not on TV. I know you might be a bit shy. They're not shy. It's not. The ad hasn't actually been. They're not scratching because they haven't seen it because the ad is not on television. What the fuck? <laughs> the ad's not on TV. Why what? not? It was too shit. It, I was hey, too, it was, it was shit. shit. We, we were nervous. We didn't know what our lines were. We weren't sure what language it was supposed to be. It was just, it was all over the place. It was serviceable. It wasn't serviceable. It, well, well, Scott, what happened to the advertising money then? Well, you know me. I've been uh, hanging out with all those TV people. <laughs> What happened to the money, Scott? Up my nose. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Drugs. No money. You can roll it into little tubes and you can fit it all. It's all still in there. It's all inside the, the cavities. Well, you can hear it when I... I don't thing? care about that because these people need to have seen the ad. You can't go and see any show without having all the best bits wrecked by an ad. He's right. <laughs> We're doing the ad, Scott. Come yeah. on, let's go. Hi. Hi. We're, We're tripod. tripod. And we're tripod. Have you ever been into on the theatre and had this thought done? Gee, the theatre was excellent, but tonight had not enough good pirate stories, do you not think? Yes, I do not think. 
Well, have no fear because of our stock boy overordered and we must clear it. <laughs> we are up to our knees in pirate. <laughs> Stories you must come to our big pirate show of Tosswinkle. Tosswinkle the pirate. pirate show. Now you will have of this thought. Gee, tonight had lots of good pirate stories enough. Yes, I do not think. <laughs> sea battles. Well realised. Villains. Really scary. Sex. Yes, please. But don't, don't take, take our it. word for it. Here's what I... <laughs> That's funny. But, but don't, don't take, take our word for it. it. Here's, Here's what actual fictional people said about tripod. This show was great for me because I myself am a wog. <laughs> tripod, only 45 minutes from the CBD on the Western Ring Road. A great place to bring up your kids. Since going to see Tripod, my best friend Janet is either on the phone or on a date. <laughs> what am I talking to you for? <laughs> Tripod! That's misprint. Sami Achudnia Raskatna Chod Pirata Vizivodnia Uviniti. Tripod. No, hold on. How are you young man build? I don't shoot like a tripod. Jim Appel, tripod. <laughs> tripod, we, we have to like it. it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. All right, well, okay, hey, we'll get through it, we'll get through it. Uh, okay, let's, let's move on. Yes. On with the show. Yes. The uh, main theme of Tosswinkle the Pirate. Midori <laughs> Dorero. He murdered his whole family in a port town near Seville at a time when such things were frowned upon. He attended special classes learning anger management, but he hacked to death the teachers on day one. He hadn't yet earned his name. He was still called Nancy in those days. Mayhem was his game. That and coits. He really loved coits. Toss we call. The evil pirate villain. Toss we call. He loves a bit of killing. I hear he burns down women. I hear he kidnaps churches. And I hear he wears a hat. <laughs> <laughs> For over 30 years he brought heartbreak and tears He would rob and rick and pillage and run wild But his homicidal bent can be traced to one event He was murdered once as a child He lost his leg to a shark he lost his arm to a shark with a circular saw. He lost his eye to a card shark. They were playing poker. He was playing quoits. <laughs> Toss we go. In France he butchered a butcher. Toss we go. In Rome he baked a baker. And once in a tavern in the port of Amsterdam, he inspected an inspector. Did he kill him then, Yon? You know? No, 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 he didn't kill him. That would have been too obvious. He inspected him, you know, like with a cup of tea in each hand. Clomp, 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 cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea. <laughs> men lock up your women. Women lock up your men. But if we're all locked up together, we may never get out again. There needs to be one person. Entrusted with a key He could wear a lampshade on his head Or pretend to be a tree Or pretend, or pretend, or pretend To be a tree Wait, see, that's not a tree, that's a cactus <laughs> Oh, fuck Toss, 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 
He called the spade a spade, toss, wing call. Before a spade was called a spade, at a time when a spade was called a printing press. But then the printing press was invented. They had to change it. <laughs> toss, 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 wing call. He'll take you to the cleaners, toss, wing call. He'll even have you mended, which is fine if you're a jacket or a pair of pantaloons. But not if you're a man. Fantastic. All right. Um, okay, okay. Um, it's the start of the show. I'll set the scene. Yeah? Um, That's all right with you? So? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. Ah! Ye! 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 Peppa, 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 Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now, our story begins yeah. on uh, uncharted waters. There's a ship sailing. I'm actually setting the scene. Is that all right with you? <laughs> ship sailing towards the east, all right, and they're lost. They don't no, know No, they know all this. They know all this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know, for example, <laughs> that there's a merchant ship. Ye, ye, ye. Sailing in uncharted waters. <laughs> Carrying spices. <laughs> pep up, pep up, pep up, pep up, pep up. To the east. <laughs> what, what sort of spices? Bleep, bleep. Salt. Yeah. That's just, that, 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 do they even know the name of the ship? Or yeah, know yeah, who's they know the, the, pilot? the ship. They know the ship's called the SS Defenseless and they know the captain's name is Doomed Pete. They know all that. <laughs> You've got to read in between the moves, Scott. I'm mm, sorry about all that. All right, okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Um, uh, batten down the yard masts. Trim off the anchor. Bring me another cabin, boy. This one's busted. Hang on. <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. About that. yeah, that think, right? Yeah, no, that's right. All right, three, four. We're, We're a peaceful merchant ship sailing towards the east. We're wet behind the ears, both metaphorically and actually. I'm gonna get me some of that scurvy that I've heard so much about. We're lonely. We're bored. And it's your turn to dress up as the woman. <laughs> I always have to dress up as the woman. Oh, come on, you're everyone's favourite, and besides, the dress fits you the best. Yeah, yeah, and the pig suit, conveniently. Well, <laughs> why don't you just laugh it up, people? Why don't you just laugh it up? The thing is, right, I don't, I don't want to stop it, but you, you're not in position of all the facts, you see. You're laughing at these two nondescript, badly acted characters <laughs> without knowing that, see, they're all they're about to, both about to die. They're about to get killed by tossing oh. and it's so funny for you people. It's like a blood hey, sport, God. isn't it? Hey. For you people, it's like I'm Spartacus or, or, or Russell Crowe. Well, you know what? I'm no. not Russell Crowe from Gladiator. It's good. I'm not. It's good. Stop going in the audience. Remember, this is just fictional. You know? Ooh, it's fictional, is it? <laughs> Oh, it's so fictional for you people. Yeah. I suppose everything that goes wrong in my life's fictional, is it, huh? I suppose how I didn't fit into school, was that fictional? No. And how my parents were killed by an evil wizard, was that fictional? No. Huh? And I had to go to school, I had to learn how to ride a broom with a scar on my forehead and everyone knew who I was and I didn't know who anyone else was. Yeah, Scott. That bit, that's fictional. Yeah. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Still, you've got to admit there are a few similarities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got glasses, I've got glasses. Sure. He's got wizard powers, I've got wizard powers. Ah, uh, not so much. Anyway, this next bit is the big ship battle. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is great. I love this bit. This is really good because Scott has actually prepared yep. these very, very detailed ships. And he also, he's learnt all the nautical terms and he takes you through it blow by blow. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to stop you. Scott is leaving to go to the toilet in the middle of the show. Oh, you're a knick knocker. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? what? Yeah, I just, I won't be long, I promise. You can't. You can't go to the toilet whenever you want, when, you know, at work. Why not? Well, name me one job where you can just go to the toilet whenever you want. Toilet cleaner. <laughs> yeah, you've got a good one there. Very good. Okay, all right, you can go then on the proviso that you let us help with the ship battle. Fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, we, we play. Yeah, like yeah. Because yeah. you know how anal you are about the ship battle, yeah. you, we, we play. 
Nice fella. <laughs> we don't need him, though. We so don't need him. We can entertain these people on our own. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, do you know what this is? What? This is the birth of Bipod. Yes! <laughs> oh. Absolutely! Look at all the possibilities. We can do our own thing. I know, I know. We just have to grab the one we want. I know. You, know? you got any ideas? No. Neither do I. <laughs> I got, I got one, I got one, you gotta do this, you gotta do this at home. Okay, let's pretend we've never met. Because <laughs> you know how great it is when you meet someone for the first time, you share your thoughts, your feelings, your interests, it's great. So we'll pretend we've never met. Okay, okay. All right. Let's okay. give it a go. All right. Okay. Uh, and begin. Hi. Hi, Gatesy. How's the rash? No. No, you don't. You don't, you don't know my name's Gatesy. You don't know about the rash. There is no rash! <laughs> right? All right, I'm sorry. I just find it hard meeting new people. That's all. No, but... Uh, it's just all pretend. Pretend. All right. <laughs> That's not helping. All right. Okay. So we pretend yeah. we've never met. Okay. okay. One more try. And... Yo. Hi. You looking at me? <laughs> yeah? Have we ever met before? No, we've never met. Then what's your fucking problem, man? Right? Oh, that's nothing's my problem. Is man. that a rash? It's not a rash! Alright, here we go with the shit day. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Yon, Yon's being really weird with me, man. Um, Yon, uh, don't be weird. <laughs> there goes our whole living. Just like that. <laughs> Alright. Now. All right, here we oh, go. Remember Ship what? It's agreed. You, know, you, we, we play. You help yeah, us yeah, tell the yeah, story. Yeah, that's the fine. system. That's right. You can like hold something. Nice. Okay, ships. here we go. Now this is okay. The ship battle is a little bit logistical. All right, everyone. So we've, we've got these models to help us visualise. Now cool. this, okay, is uh, the uh, firstly of all that's north. That's very north. important. Okay? okay. This is the merchant ship, the SS Defenceless. Okay. Now it's facing north, and a northerly wind comes up, which is actually very bad news, and I'll explain why later. Now this. <laughs> is the Denise. Oh. Okay, it's now it's Toss Winkle's what? ship. Hey, hey, okay. hey, Scott, Scott, Scott. Can this be in it? <laughs> Come on, look, it's a big um, robotic dog that walks, that walks on water. And, hey, you can put it in a story. No, of course not. It's what, Scott? It's, it's Scott, you we, we play. <laughs> Come on, it's got like lasers on its cheeks and it's got a little top hat. Look, hello, my good man. <laughs> you got to put it in the show. Oh, fine, okay. Put it in the story. All right, I'll, okay. Okay, this is uh, Tosswinkle's ship, a giant metal dog that yeah. walks on water. Okay, now it's first spotted by the defenceless at a distance of about seven nautical miles, all right, or about 13 uh, k's thereabouts. It's coming across the wind, across okay, and its captain, Tosswinkle, Gates knows the wind as well. He hey, knows. can this be in it too? It's a big giant duck without any pants on. <laughs> it can be like the captain of my dog. <laughs> Come on! The giant duck. Yes. Pilots his dog across the wind, about east southeast, okay, in a broad spinnaker reach. Then he comes around south Ooh. so as to end up broadside to the poor merchant broad ship. Merchant ship? Don't you mean Buzz Lightyear? No! Yeah. No! Yeah! No! I'm sorry. Yeah. No! No! <laughs> Scott, do you ever want to wee again? <laughs> I know you can't imagine a world in which you will need to wee again, but it will come back. <laughs> And I will be there. <laughs> and I'll be there too. <laughs> we'll watch. <laughs> to make sure you're All right, freak. okay, uh, okay, <laughs> fine, okay, all right, okay. Remember, this is north, okay? It's now, north. what's happening is Buzz Lightyear is facing <laughs> north, okay? He's I foundering, and this guy has got the I wind can, behind him, okay? Now, the metal dog, he's got all sorts of problems, okay? Now, the wind's behind him, he's pit piling forward a little bit, okay? Which you probably have hey, picked, Scott, okay? Scott, Scott, and Scott, he's, Scott, 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 is there a sword fight in this bit? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Cool, let's go. All right, now he knows that when he comes around south, the jib is going to be blocked by the mainsail. I'm sure you're all thinking it yourself, okay? He, but he knows to middle the helm, which means the jib comes across the other side. He can sail a goose wing, of course. He needs to close haul, though, because he's going pretty quick. Now, Buzz Lightyear's he's got all sorts of problems, okay? He's got wind going stem, for, stem to stem. He's, like, he's actually foundering, all right? Now, which means that he's... Ha! You're dead! Ha! Ha! 
No. I, I wasn't even ready. What? It's, that's not in it. That's not in it. I wasn't ready. I was practicing. I was doing a bit of that skill. Ah! But you can't just come out. There's, there's rules of engagement. Scott, tell him about the rules of engagement. Rules of engagement? Yeah. Rules. Oh, rules of engagement. Yep. I suppose they're the same rules of engagement that involve a metal dog with a top hat on. <laughs> yeah, them ones. I think you're missing a much more important point. Tell us what? what? This guy here. Which this guy? Fellow in the red shirt. This guy. This guy this here. Guy. On the this end. guy right here. This guy right here. This guy here. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Fellas, this guy has no fucking idea what's going on in the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with you. I've got no clue. I'm in the show. Poor guy. <laughs> He's picked out his favourite red shirt. Yeah. He saved up his money for the ticket. How much was the ticket? I got it for free, actually. You got it for free. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Up yours, Yeah. Too. Some of us have to eat. <laughs> he doesn't care. Well, you see, he saved up his no money doing a little dance all day, whatever you do, busking, you know, I don't know one of the things you do. And, you, and, he's, and he's put on his hat that looks like kind of trendy hair, and he's come out. Yeah. He's locked the monkey up for the night, yeah. just for a big night out. Just hoping, with one dream. Yeah. Cohesive pirate story. <laughs> I'm with this guy. Or, or not with, with him. <laughs> like, I don't want to nude up with him or anything. <laughs> I mean, you never know your luck in the big city, do you? I mean, nothing, nothing's out of the question. Uh, anything can happen, you know? Uh, like, yeah, you know. Like, yeah, so, yeah. Really? Oh, how you doing? Yeah. Um, like, you know, we might have some wine, some conversation, and find out we're actually quite compatible. What's your name, buddy? Dave. Uh, did you make that up? <laughs> no. I'm close enough to slap you. <laughs> if you want rough love, come on. Dave, 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 well, that's great, like we might find, don't look at me like that, just because I'm out meeting new people, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a man, I'm the, I'm the go, I'm on the street, you know, while you sort of stay at home, you know, waiting by the phone, you know, we, do you like movies, Dave? I love movies. Love movies, yes, you like Highlander, love Highlander, it's a kind of magic, <laughs> I, love, I love that stuff, you know, all we should do, do you like, because I mean, think about Highlander, right? it's got a plot, you know? It's got some kind of story. I mean, this toss winkle bullshit. I mean, I don't even know who I'm supposed to be in the sword fight. You know, the... All right, guys, so I'll tell you for the last time. Yeah. With the caveat that I think Dave might be too much man for you. Right. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you for the last time, all right? You're listening? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you. All right, you're listening? In the story, in the sword fight and the rest of the story, you're playing the role of Toss Winkle's nemesis. Okay. I'm listening. All right, the man who has hunted him his whole life. Yeah. Oh. The dashing and heroic. Dashing and heroic. Admiral Gary Coleman. Oh. <laughs> cool. Right. Who am I playing? Who am I playing? Jan, you're playing the title role. Tripod. <laughs> you're playing all three of us. I'm going to play you quite differently. <laughs> Alright, now, okay, Jon, focus, yeah. just look in my eyes, alright, all right, okay. focus, all right, now you're playing yeah. the role of... Oh, hang on, there's a little guy in there. <laughs> he... <laughs> he looks exactly like me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, there's two of them. Hello, I'm trapped inside Scott's head. Ah, it's being Jon Malkovich. <laughs> oh. Wow, marching hammers. Now... You're playing the role, you You're playing Tosswinkle the pirate. Oh. Ah. Sword me up. Arch enemies. Yeah. Arch, arch enemies. Arch enemies. We hate each other. Huh? Yeah. yeah, especially when we're under an arch. They're yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Come on. They're okay, they're about to fight. Those, uh, this is the confrontation. Oh, yeah. They've been waiting all the, yeah. all the time for. You've got my blood boiling. I've been waiting so long for you, and buddy. And the well, I'm not going anywhere. Trap. Come the on. The merchant ship was a trap. It was a trap. They're about to fight. What are you waiting for? I'm not moving. I'm standing right here, and you're standing right there. Come on, bring And yet nothing's happening. Just you and me. Come on. Who else Now. They're about to fight, fellas, yeah. when suddenly the ghost ship arrives and they flee in terror. Oh, the ghost ship. Huh? The, the ghost, ghost ship. ship. The great galleon of gloom that sails the dark waters collecting souls. Hey, booga hey. booga. <laughs> Maybe it's come for Tosswinkle. Oh, yeah, he's a real badass. He's a terrible ass. Yes. Right. <laughs> the ghost ship, it's, it's very scary. How scary? E minor. Ooh. Yeah. There's some musos in the room who've just pooed their pants! <laughs> Don't go near E minor, you can't take it! Well, just watch us. 
See the lonely township peacefully sleeping. The sun hides once again behind the sea. <laughs> Most are safely dreaming angel kisses. <laughs> Butterflies. <laughs> But sinners can't escape so easily. The murderers, the thieves, and the fraudulent. The overweight, the working class, the foreigners. They all must beware for what's that looming there. An evil spectre on the sea. Wow, ghost ship. Ghost ship. Ghost ship coming to get them. Ghost ship, sinners beware. Ghost ship, ain't no escaping. The ghost ship coming there. Toot toot. <laughs> what was that? What was that? It's the ghost ship. Toot toot. <laughs> Yon, it's got to be scary. Um, right, yeah. Toot toot. <laughs> All right, Yon, it's the ghost ship, right? It's got to be really disturbing. Yeah. Um. Milky Discharge. Oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah, spot on. on. Its masts are made of piled up skulls. Its decks are made of human nuts. Its sails are made of sailor skin. Its guts are made of guts. It's a feat of engineering. I wonder who built it. I wonder who built it as well, Johnny. Ooh, Out of the what? night. Under the ocean stars I was standing with my baby on the boardwalk And the ghost ship was there I took her to the pictures And then I took her home Yeah And then I took her to heaven You know what I mean And it was kind of dirty And we got out the glad wrap And we did I don't want to stop it, but um, now I'm just going to go with some of the audience reaction and suggest that a few of the punters, they've spotted the same inconsistency that I've spotted. Okay, see? Now, when did this suddenly become about some woman? Oh, I see, right. Well, I figured if this Tosswinkle the Pirate show was like a concept album, then this Ghost Ship song would be our first single, yeah? And we want to make a bit of money out of this for a change, yeah? So if we want to get this, we want to get this single selling, sure, the guys, Dave, he loves that, he loves that ooga booga scary stuff with the galleon and the water and ooh! But the girls, as soon as you talk about love, now you have the ladies listening. Because <laughs> ah. the girls want to imagine they're making love to the singer. You're not supposed to laugh at that, are you? <laughs> Go with me, guys, on this one. One end, a two end, a three, four. Ghost ship! My baby kisses like a ghost ship! I touch my baby on a ghost ship! The trousers are bursting! All right, all right, okay, stop the train. What? Just a minute, all right, okay. Sorry, I touch my baby on her ghost ship. <laughs> yeah. Now, where exactly is a woman's ghost ship? Don't you know? <laughs> no, I'm just seeing, you know, if it translates. I'm just, I just, I have. Yeah, I have. That, that's enough. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think you're onto something, Gates. I think, you know, this whole love thing could be, could be a bit of a, a, a unit mover. I reckon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you're just coming in a little bit too fast, though, that's all. Reckon? You know, you need to create a little bit of a mood, you know. Get inside the head of a female girl, you know. <laughs> Can, can I give you an example of what I mean? Sure. After two. One, two. Ghost ship! ship. Expressing my feelings. <laughs> Ghost, Ghost ship. ship! Being a good listener. Ghost, Ghost ship. ship! A thoughtful companion. <laughs> I don't even know what this song's about anymore. <laughs> so it's, like, it's like foreplay. No, yes. it's not about foreplay. All right, it's not. It's about a horrible spectral ship that comes to get sinners. All right? Well, what are they wearing? Is it sort of no, look. a leather thing with a... Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Look, OK, oh, will you just focus? It's, it, OK, there might be a woman on it, yeah. but it's because she's a sinner. Okay. All right? So it's more like a, it's scary, like... The woman's a sinner. She's going to be dragged away. But not before I bone her on the boardwalk till the morning comes. Yeah. I 
bought a sentimental card with flowers and a pink design. She'll be torn apart by demons while she's touching my buns. <laughs> Go shit! Caring environment. Go shit! Den of the damn. Go shit! Overtly sexual. Murderous. Um, empathy. Nude. Uh, banshees. Thoughtful. Ass. <laughs> Go shit! Yeah! 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 Ghost ship arrives, yeah? Causing Admiral Gary Coleman and Tosswinkle to flee in terror, preventing their confrontation. In this next bit, I get to play the narrator slash balladeer slash uh, slash from Guns N' Roses. <laughs> so, here we are. Tosswinkle's cabin, mid-morning. Tosswinkle and his trusty first mate, Traitor Jim, <laughs> discuss their close call with the ghost ship. That was a close call with the ghost ship. <laughs> I, I, I think there's a bit more to the character than that. <laughs> Oh, we named, we named the show after you, Tosswinkle the Pirate. Yeah, remember how we talked about acting mm. in this show? <laughs> what is this acting you speak of? Yon, okay, yon, acting, we talked about it. It's like, you know, I think Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. I think Jeffrey Rush. Yeah. Jeffrey Rush doing Macbeth, for example. Is this a dagger I see before me? Oh, goodness me, Gillian, it's one of those times, isn't it? Oh, you've got to choose. You've really got to choose. It's almost a fork in the park. Oh, well, it's not a fork. It's more of a knife, really, isn't it? Oh, goodness me, it's, a, it's all a bit pointless. Well, it's not pointless. It's a dagger, isn't it? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of about right. Right. I figure with, with acting, all you need to do is put on a stupid voice and pretend to be someone else. Like, oh, I'm Thoughts of Thread, the great wizard, and I've got a magic missile and a staff. I'm standing before that's a great That's very dungeon. good. That's excellent. Yeah. yeah. You're being Scott, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. You got I, I've, I've, yep, I've got my handle on this one. All right, okay. okay. Your handle is my concern. Let's good. go. All right. <laughs> um, so, Toss Winkle and his first mate, Traitor Jim, discuss their close call with the ghost ship. Aha! That was a close call with the ghost ship. <laughs> All right. Could you at least put on an accent? Yeah, just try an accent. Yeah, right? Hmm? Um, okay. All right. Aha! That was a close call with the ghost ship. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay, that's the kind of thing. But Toss Winkle's English. Yeah, oh, is right? he? So, yeah, he's right. English. Okay. Ah, oh, that was a close call with the ghost ship. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, speak it, English. It affects the accent. Yes. All right. So, all right. Think of it this way. Take take the accent and yeah. move it east. That's great. Right? That's a good idea. Yeah. Ah, mo holan, ho yi yong chong nine bill. Okay, whoa, too far, too far, too. Okay, you've yeah. got to go west um, from okay. there. Yeah. Ah, that was a close call with the ghost ship. Oh, okay, yeah. well, so, okay, keep, keep going, keep going, going. Keep going. Keep Aha! That was a close call. Uh, Jump in a little raft, little buddy, and paddle across the water. You're almost there. Come on. Aha! That was a close call with the ghost ship. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I think there's a bit more dialogue as well, Jan. <laughs> like, what would Tosswinkle say? He's just seen that great galleon of gloom on the water. You know, it scared him. How would he tell the story to Trader Jim? What would he say? It was bad. Oh, no, OK, all right. <laughs> Gatesy, could you just start us off? Yes. Would that be right? I am the narrator, yes. balladeer. As I'm boss of the story, basically. That's right. As long as you understand, yeah. there are yeah. the rules. Yeah, OK. So with the arrival of the, tr the, arrival of the ghost ship, Tosswinkle had been forced to stare into the abyss of fate. <laughs> and it had shaken him to the core. He knew the ghost ship came to collect sinners 
And with all his marauding, murdering, pillaging and plundering and... <laughs> and milking cows. <laughs> could, the, could it be the ghost ship was coming to collect him? Trader Jim leaned in to speak with his captain. Captain, you seem so upset lately. I've never seen you this way. Could there be something on your mind? Trader I'd... Jim continued. <laughs> I was just the boss of the story. I imagine you're upset, Captain. Toss Winkle answered. He paused a moment before answering the question. You? Then he answered. <laughs> you know me well, Traitor Jim. Yes, it is true. I'm thinking of retirement. I just think you know... Toss Winkle had been thinking of retirement for some time. <laughs> I just... He then continued. <laughs> I just... Uninterrupted. I just think Whispering. there must be Whispering. I just think there must be more to life than hacking people to pieces, you know? I mean, couldn't I do something as well as hacking people to pieces? <laughs> sure. Major you're... Jim answered. Wow, <laughs> hey, wow. Gee, Gatesy, look over there. What? It's you shutting the fuck up. <laughs> People have spoken. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yes, Jim, there's more to life than piracy. <laughs> there's romance. Romance? But, Captain, if I may be so bold, what do you know of love and romance? You don't know how to lead a normal life. I can dream, Jim. I dream, traitor Jim, that I could live life on a farm with a girl. Yes, yes, that's what I'll call her, a farm girl. <laughs> In my dreams, I even know her name, Jim. I call her Enid. <laughs> Enid of the sunrise, streaming through the trees, cleaning all the rice, measuring the nuts. In it with your barrow sticking to the peat. You whistle to a goat and he fishes you out. <laughs> then you take him home to your hut and eat him. <laughs> Enid, take me down to where the mockingbird nests. You'll crack an egg on my forehead. And smear the yolk on my chest. <laughs> Enid, you've the map. Enid, you've the compass. You've the sextant. You've the telescope. You've got the tools, be bold. So come and find the gold, i.e., my heart. <laughs> you have a lovely singing voice, Captain. Thank you! <laughs> Entering the cabin, Ooh. I will raise my sword. Looking so defenseless in your sleep, <laughs> fully unaware of my creeping towards you. As I move in close, I make a fatal error. The floor beneath me creaks and you wake with a start You remind me you're my wife And we laugh at my silly mistake I forgot that I'm not supposed to kill you Enid, you and I will make a wonderful pair I'll hack a peasant to pieces you take a pig to the fair <laughs> Enid of the windmill processing the maize and wheat The wind strikes the sail slash propeller Which in turn drives a central shaft That not only grinds but powers a rudimentary pump Extracting water from a dam To irrigate the fields in the dry season Of my heart 
You know, Jim, you're my first mate. Yes, I'm aware of my duties, Captain. I need to go no, and uh, no, Jim, pull over. Come back here. I'm telling you something quite personal. You're my first ever mate. Aww. That's that's nice. Nice. That is quite nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I get that Gary Coleman, <laughs> the things I'll do to him. Well, I'll chop his head in half right down the centre and then scoop out each side to make some sort of perverse ball. Yes. And in this side, I'll have dips and chips. And on the other side, maybe hummus or a salmon face. I'm in there. <laughs> All right, now, uh, try to gin. Okay, um, now, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, Trader Jim, the character I was playing, uh, he's kind of an interesting character. He's got lots of facets and, and, and whatnot. And he does something quite soon in the story, which may come as a bit of a surprise uh, to some of you. So what we wanted to do is round out his character a little bit, explain what makes him tick. Uh, so Yoni's had a bit of a task, haven't you, Yoni? Uh, mm -hmm. In his own time, he's written a song about Trader Jim that helps kind of explain Trader Jim's motivations. He's, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> It's not that hard a system. Uh, there we go, little fella. All right. Uh, now, uh, okay, so Yoni's written this song about Trader Jim's childhood. Uh, take it away. Yoni. Go, Yoni. Bubble helicopter. I watched you when I was a kid. Bubble helicopter with your amphibious skid. You're the kind of helicopter that they used to use on MASH. Bubble helicopter taking off vertically. Your all-round perspex cover affords great visibility. And that's why I like you. Bubble helicopter. That's a really nice song, yeah. Thanks. Sung, sung beautifully. Thanks. I agree, yeah. Um. <laughs> there was nothing about Trader Jim in there, though, was there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> One job. Okay, One just, just give me the guitar. Oh. Come on, let's. Right, no, no, hang on. I can fix this. <laughs> All right. Um. Trader Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I watched you when I was a kid. There you go. Okay. Trader Jim, with your amphibious skin. All right, come on, just give me the guitar. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you, ca you can't just run away. <laughs> well, don't you want to hear about Trader Jim's all-round perspex cover? <laughs> hey, Yoni. What? No homework for you. No more homework for me. Damn. Just give me the guitar. Well, at least someone's done his homework. That's me. I, I didn't. <laughs> I've got the big Admiral Gary Coleman soliloquy up now. Check this out. <laughs> Damn you, Tosswinkle. You have eluded me again. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> For 14 years, I've been pursuing that scoundrel of the sea. The lengths I have gone to. Smoking <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> I even built this entire city and filled it with pirate specific attractions to lure him into my trap. <laughs> look, everyone, over there. No, I don't mean you to look over there. <laughs> it's just a theatrical convention. You don't actually. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> over there, in your imagination, look over there. A parrot sanctuary. Beyond that, a prosthetic store. <laughs> Across the knoll, a shop selling nothing but enormous belts. <laughs> a pirate radio station. <laughs> playing, ah, ah, ah. playing nothing but Take On Me by Aha! <laughs> 24 hours a day. I wrote that, that was my life. But now that I have captured Tosswinkle's ever so trusting first mate, Traitor Jim, who gave himself up so easily, the fool, 
I shall now find out what Tosswinkle's weakness is. And when I do, I shall spank him quite hard. <laughs> God! Yes, Admiral. Bring me Traitor Jim. <laughs> Yes, Admiral. Um, uh, come this way, scum. Uh, oh, um, ooh, uh, yes. That was fucking great. Right. That was really good. Wow. 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 That was uh, that was me both times. <laughs> No. But uh, anyway, it's my big Admiral Gary Coleman, you know, interrogation scene. He loves interrogation, this character. He could do it every day, all day, weeks. He's got all the stuff out back. He's got pliers, he's got like scotch tape and tarry machine, everything. He's got it great. He's got he's like the he's like the private dick who's the sex machine with all the chicks. He's, you know, interrogator. He's he's like interrogatee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So tell me, traitor Jim. Tell me what Toss Winkle's weakness is. Tosswinkle's weakness is that he dreams of settling down with a woman named Enid. And may I remind you, I have ways of making... <laughs> did you just tell me? Yeah. Um, did you just tell me? Yeah, I told you. Like, without putting up a bit of a... Could you put up a bit of a fight? Yeah, uh, okay, Gatesy, uh, traitor Jim. <laughs> Ah, you see how it all, it's like a jigsaw, it all, you know? You could have told me, like, backstage, now, now these things are that Gatesy, they think, oh, what a tosser. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, Gatesy. I'm not a tosser. No, you are a tosser, uh, there's no question of that, but here's what I reckon about that issue. Here, I, you know what I think? Everyone's a tosser. Hand up, people, if you're a tosser. Oh, uh, you... Two or three? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the rest of you, it can be our little secret. <laughs> all right? Because, Gatesy, this is what I reckon, and I'm going to put it in song. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a tosser. <laughs> I bet that hurt. Yeah, it did a little that bit. That hurt. Yeah. Everyone's a fool. Don't ever feel like you don't fit, because, Gatesy, everyone's a tool. The louder that you say you're not, the more that it's the case. Where did he come from? <laughs> Just like everybody else, you're a real knob face. Hey? I'm a knob face? Yeah. Oh, that does hurt. Take our little Yanni. That's me. He's a total mong. If you think that I look interesting, I'm sorry, you'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what about old Scotty? Uh, you could write a book on him. <laughs> You can call it Nobby the Knobstickle and his knobtastic voice. Now you're getting, getting it. it. Hey, can I sing the next bit? Do you, you have, have to? to? Everybody's a tosser. Everyone's a schmo. From Robert Louis Stevenson to Edgar Allan Poe. We're all bloody cock spanks. The experts all agree. The experts, they're all tossers too. Just like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, you're a tosser. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, just a minute. <laughs> We talked about it backstage. If we're going to pick on someone, make sure they're like smaller than us. <laughs> He's a pretty big guy. <laughs> what about this, this lady here in the burgundy jacket? Do you think we, we could take her on? What, in a fight? Yeah. I could pound her down. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, excuse me, madam. Um, is it okay if I call you madam? I know you're obviously quite young, but it's just that you look like someone who organises whores. <laughs> Oh, they took it the wrong way. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, would you say that you're a violent person? No, yeah, like, for example, have you ever killed a man, yes or no? Well, like, if we call you a knob end, just, just, just you know, but would you hurt us? No, no, no you're right, wouldn't you? Three, four. Madam, you're a knob end. It's there for all to see. Don't try to deny it. Do you think you're better than me? <laughs> can, well, can you stop that? Yeah. <laughs> but now? Yes, right. 
The louder that you say you're not, the louder that you are. You're a bonehead. You're a franger. You're a spasmo. You're a schwanger. You're a tosser. It's a fact you can't ignore. Cause everyone's a tosser. But you slightly more. <laughs> I feel like I didn't learn anything. Tossa. What's up with that? Hey? What's going on there? All right. Um, okay, well, uh, that, that brings us to the end of the first half, and now we're going to have a little bit of an intermission. Thank you. How'd you go? Uh, <laughs> Good, get some time to stretch your legs. Okay. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> Sir! I'm back in character. <laughs> Toss Winkle's weakness is Enid, eh? Enid. Well, I shall build me an Enid. <laughs> I will build a giant wooden Enid. Yes, I will build Toss Winkle a giant wooden Trojan girlfriend. Just picture her that floats, you know, a big one made of wood, armed with cannons and 200 armed men. Several of them. Maybe I should have more men with less arms. Sort of. Maybe I'll have 200 men with normal arms, normal legs. That should suit well. Good. Heave ho, heave ho, heave ho. We're building an Enid. Enid, Enid, Enid! What are you doing, Yoni? I'm printing flyers to attract builders and artisans. <laughs> and hopefully sponsorship from wood companies. What are you doing, Gatesy? Well, I'm making our workers a special energy drink. Right. I'm mixing milk with other milk. <laughs> I will call it double milk. <laughs> it will give twice the energy of normal milk. <laughs> What are you doing, Scott? I'm playing the guitar. <laughs> and together we're building an Enid. We're, we're building, building an Enid. Enid. All of Gary Coleman's former plans have been no good. Enid. But who could resist a giant woman made of wood? To lure Toss Winkle to his ultimate demise. She has that come hither and get killed look in her eyes. So unsinkable and a real lady. She'll never go down on us. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a subterfuge. It's a bloody trick. It's a most sleight of hand endeavor. It's like sawing a woman in half. But the other way around, we're putting a woman together. She's the most uniquest woman since I can't remember when. What other girl accommodates 200 armed men? As well as recreational facilities, including table tennis. We're building an Enid, Enid, Enid. If the Enid doesn't feel, if the Enid doesn't feel, if the Enid doesn't feel, as fast, Enid. Toot toot. <laughs> yeah. All right. How cool is it? How cool is Admiral Gary Coleman? He's just there. He's a kicking pirate butt. Yeah, yeah like, uh, get on with it, Gates. Yeah, um, there's, uh, there's a rousing speech now to the troops. Oh, a rousing yeah, speech yeah. Yeah. to the crew okay, of the Enid. as we oh, launch the Enid. Yes. <laughs> crew of the SS Enid. There comes a time in every man's life where he must make a giant woman out of wood and launch her into the sea! <laughs> yes, that's it, Gates. You've got this to really get one it to of those yeah, yeah, It needs good. to be the ultimate irony yes. at the end yeah. when he dies. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what? Have you not told him? I thought you were going to tell him. Well, you're going to kill the best character in the show at the no, end. Gates, Everyone. It, Gates, it's in the script. Is there a script? <laughs> look, you, uh, yes. you, you can't kill the best. Everyone loves Admiral Gary right, Coleman. Look, just get on with it, all right? We've just got to get through this speech. Oh, what right? are you, what are you, am I your little puppet man? You're going to kill my best character? You're going to ask me to do a rousing speech? No. There will be no more rousing. There will be no more speech. Sorry, as far as I'm concerned, I still own one third of the end of this story. I'm not going to take it lying down. I've got these chairs. I'm going to take my chairs. I'm going to open up a chair shop. <laughs> for dwarves who like red. <laughs> I'm not going to take it lying down. You think I'm going to take it lying down? I'm not. I'm just going to have a bit of a lie down. Hey, Scott, I've got an idea. Let's pretend we've never met. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, okay, no, look, okay. See, here's what I think we should keep moving with the story. Oh, all right. right. Is that okay? Yeah. So, uh, okay. Later, aboard Toswinkle's ship, in it of the sunrise, streaming through. Toswinkle is having a moment to himself, dreaming of his beloved. Excuse Enid. me! <laughs> in it of the sunrise, streaming through the trees, cleaning all the rice. Yes, come in! Toswinkle! <laughs> there you are. Yes. <laughs> You're where the knocking came from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who are you? Ah, glad you asked. I am representing the um, Save Gary Coleman Foundation. Yeah, and uh, I was wondering if you'd like to donate in the form of not killing him. <laughs> Gatesy, is that you? <laughs> Gatesy, it is you. I've been studying acting. I'm so onto you. What are you I doing? I just don't think he should die. Gatesy, all right, he dies at the end, all but right? But he doesn't have to oh. die. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't have to die. Die with dignity, Gatesy. Die with dignity, Gatesy. Die with dignity. Oh, that's my die with dignity. Oh, look at my die with dignity. I'm dying with dignity. I'm dying. Dying. <laughs> I'm dying, Mr. Dinner. Toswinkle is having a moment by himself. Someday I will find her, it may not be today. I mean, if Enid turned up right now. It would obviously be some sort of trap. <laughs> Enid, ahoy! You beauty! <laughs> yeah. She's finally come for me. Gather the men. One-eyed Jack. Yep. Smelly Peach. Yep. Fuck Tom. Yep. <laughs> yes. Do you have to be called? Yes, you do have to be called that. Now be quiet. I can't believe it, she's even more beautiful than I imagined. Look at her. 36, 24, 36. 100 yards, Captain. <laughs> I like voluptuous. Yes, well, can I just suggest that that may not be an actual woman, Captain. Perhaps that's a 200-foot high wooden structure with eyes painted on. I can't believe you've fallen in love with that thing. It's clearly a trap. It's clearly not a woman at all, but a wooden thing. You young people and your expectations of women. <laughs> how are you ever going to find your perfect partner when you have such a strict picture in your head of how she has to be? <laughs> you, she mustn't be man-made and armed with batteries of cannons. <laughs> she mustn't have provision to both feed and shelter 200 of the Queen's soldiers. Oh, and she mustn't be a trap designed to send me to my doom. It's like you've got some sort of checklist. <laughs> Just listen to yourself. I, I know it's me saying the words, but, but I'm imagining that's what's in your head. <laughs> you are so superficial. Now, you can keep rattling on about what a woman can and can't be, but when you reach my age, you'll realise that your priorities change, eh? Dustwinkle! <laughs> that scared the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> can we do that again? That was great. <laughs> oh, Dustwinkle! It is I. Admiral Gary Coleman, behold, the finest trap ever, my giant Enid. Yes, Designed yes, I see you, you, Gary Coleman. What? I see you, Gary Coleman. Yes, you see me. Shaking that ass. In the floor. <laughs> Come on. My trap will not fail. See, I'm not going to fail. I won't fail. I'm not going to die. You hear me? <laughs> Look, I have hostages. See? <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Coleman, we already have that person's entrance fee. By all means, kill her. <laughs> Damn you and your pirate logic. Face to face they came again. The one with the hair and the one with less hair. <laughs> He'd hunted him all his life. And now he's presented him with a wooden wife. Gary Coleman leaps gracefully from one ship to the other. Why does he get to do heroic stuff? I want to do heroic stuff. 
All right, um, Tuswinkle does a little dance for no apparent reason. <laughs> showdown! Showdown! It's a showdown before the show goes down. Showdown! Eat it up the sunrise. I can sing high. And I can sing low and dirty. Sing really inappropriately. <laughs> showdown! Showdown! You guys are going to show right now. Showdown! How come you guys get stumps to pretend to play the guitar on? What am I meant to pretend I've got a guitar with? <laughs> You're a tool. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Has he fired five shots or six? You're using a sword. <laughs> Prepare yourself on guard. New, 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 I'm gonna stew you like a mutton and roast you like a strawberry. You don't cook very much, do you? Right. Tosswinkle was a warrior, an experienced fighter yeah. who was better at yeah. fighting. Yeah. The Admiral had no chance, yeah. and Gary yeah. Coleman, yeah. Gary Coleman was killed. <laughs> I'm gonna take you out, not in a romantic way. I'm gonna make you my bitch, not in a romantic way. That's not very scary. In a romantic way. This time Gary Coleman was really definitely killed. Showdown! Showdown! We really need to get the showdown. Showdown! This time Gary Coleman was extremely, finally, and fatally killed. Ha! Oh, God! Come on! God! Come on! Don't say! Will you die? Come on! I'm not going in without a fight. No, no, you're not going to take me down that easy. Come on. Just Come on. Can you just do that thing? Hey, you can talk all you want. I'm not going to die. I'm sorry. Man. Think of something else. All right. Um, well, uh, Gatesy, looks like you win. What? Um, Gary Coleman leaves. Ha! Ah, oh, splinters. Ow. Wow. Um, goodness me. Uh, is that... My eyes deceiving me? Tosswinkle, what's that on the horizon? What is it? Oh my god! It's the ghost ship! Ghost, ghost ship! ship! Coming to get you! Ghost, ghost ship! You're really fucked! <laughs> ghost, ghost ship! Actually, how can we be sure that's the actual ghost ship? Milky Discharge! <laughs> that's the one! Yeah. Tosswinkle, <laughs> I have come for you at last. Wait! Wait, before any ghost ships take any sinners away, can I just say this one thing? I kill people for personal gain. Okay? Sometimes just for sport. But do we not all hack people to death in our own way? I mean, maybe not with cutlass or cannon, but with pen or quill or something else that might not seem immediately threatening. For was it once not said? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> this is particularly true if the pen shoots out bolts of lightning <laughs> or a poisonous gas. 
<laughs> or it's one of those sword pens. <laughs> For the sword pen is the mightiest of them all. <laughs> combining the most deadly elements of its respective constituents. <laughs> it comes in very, very handy. For example, if you're in a car accident, you can take down the other driver's details and then stab them. <laughs> so I'm being quite honest, I kill people for personal gain. But the Admiral over here, he kills people for king and country and to uphold the law and to preserve life and liberty. Now I ask you, Mr. Ship, who between us is the more evil? And so the ghost ship took Admiral Gary Coleman in... What? <laughs> what? For the ghost ship, the ghost ship was scary, but it was no rocket scientist. No <laughs> fucking way! The, the end. end. No! Oh. <laughs> And what, what became of Tosswinkle? What of Tosswinkle, you may ask? Well, Tosswinkle did retire to the country with his beloved wooden Enid and the 200 armed men. <laughs> Admiral Gary Coleman did not die. Thank you. He was, however, sentenced to an eternity of torment in hell. You bastard. <laughs> Scott went on to write, write, direct, produce and star in Nobby the Knobstacle and his Knobtastic Voids. <laughs> but let's face it, we only did a show like this so we could have a mega mix at the end. Taking off vertically 
All your all-round prospects cover Affords great visibility Oh, that's why I like you uh, Ball helicopter